For practice at exercise 2.20 star figure, we are asked to write a program in a class named star figure that produces the following output using for loops. We'll have our public class star figure. We're going to have a public static void main inside of it to run. And once we have all of this set up, we can start looking at the code that we need to do. So we notice that we have these forward slashes, and then we have stars in here, and then we have these backward slashes. We have five lines of code, so we'll have a for loop. We'll call this rows and set it equal to zero, and it has to be less than five. And then we're just going to increment rows every single time so we can eventually break out of this loop when we are done with it. Next, we can deal with how many slashes we have, and then how many stars we have, and then how many uh, backward slashes we have. In here, we'll have a for loop. It'll be for, I'm going to call this int forward, and we'll set it equal to zero. And this is going to run, if we count these, we have one, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 slashes. So we can actually start this and set it equal to 16 like this. And it's going to run as long as forward is greater than, and then we can say rows. So for this first time, it's going to output 16. And this next time, it'll output one, or it'll output 15. However, we can't have 15. Um, if we count the stars we have, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four stars that take the place of slashes. So we have to say rows, and then times four, because every row we're adding four more, um, we're adding four more stars and getting rid of four more slashes. And then we'll just do forward plus plus. And in here, we will have our system dot out dot print, and we will have a forward slash like this. Um, next, we can work on our stars. So we will have a for loop. Actually, this should have a brace around it. So have a brace around it. That's why I was confused. So we will have a for loop. And then we will have our stars. We can say int stars and set this equal to zero since it starts out as zero. And then next it's going to be stars has to be greater or has to be um, less than. And then we need to see how many there are in here. We know there's eight here. And then there's going to be 16 in the next one. So we can do has to be less than eight or well stars we have to say because it correlates with rows we'll say rows because there's zero stars in the first one and we'll do times eight so that means when we have our row at two so we have this we're in the second row right here we're going to have eight um, as our cap right here and we're going to print out eight stars. So this should work. And we can just have a system dot out dot print. And in here we will have our star. We can close this for loop. And then we can print out our backward slashes. This is going to be the same exact thing as our forward slashes. So we can just reprint this right here. And we can call this um, back. Once we change all these names, this should be about exactly the same, um, except that we know that our forward has to be greater than our rows minus four. So instead of this being plus plus, this has to be minus minus since it's decreasing like this and our stars have to be plus plus. And this has to be a backward slash. If we submit this, we see that we need to initialize our rows. We didn't do that. And now we can submit it again. 
we see that we have all these on the same line so we need a spacing in here after all of this executes once so after one line which is all of this this is one line executes we'll say space and we'll do a system dot out dot print it should be print line actually because it's going to print a line and then we can submit it and then we have passed the test so this is the code that will give us the output that we need to submit.